Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. Today we'll be talking about how God makes beautiful things out of our lives. We will be right back with a brief message from our sponsors. You may only be familiar with the Salvation Army by the bells we ring at Christmas. But did you know we also produce a network of Christian shows you can listen to on your favorite podcast store or even local Christian radio station? One of our shows, Words of Life, is a weekly 15-minute show featuring powerful interviews and testimonies. I sometimes call him my, yeah, my angel because I just feel like the Lord put him in my life in the perfect time. When I think Engaging about, conversations about topics impacting the church today. About it. And that really gets back to this fundamental question within Christian ethics. What does it mean to be made in the image of God? And I think that's one of the most important questions we can And get. deep dives into Scripture. This divine appropriation of the Holy Spirit that God now dwells in the believer. That not only Listen to Words of Life on your favorite podcast store or visit SalvationArmyRadio.org to learn about more shows produced by the Salvation Army. This podcast is supported by Morgan Stanley. At Morgan Stanley, we see the world with the wonder of new eyes, helping you discover untapped possibilities and relentlessly working with you to make them real. Because grit and vision working in lockstep puts you on the path to your full potential. Old School Grit, New World Ideas, Morgan Stanley. To learn more, visit morganstanley.com slash why us. Investing involves risk. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. He Makes Beautiful Things by Amanda Eidelman. Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. God is doing the work of creating beauty, not perfection. A part of the Christian faith looks like growth, change, and obedience. We are always looking to our Savior, asking him to make us more like him. If we are not careful, this holy process of sanctification can quickly transform into us striving for perfection. We stop relying on God as the one that creates new things out of our lives and start believing that by our own strength, we can become good enough to earn our own salvation. Shame and guilt can distract us from the work of grace that God is doing in our lives. When all we see is how we are less than perfect, we can get distracted from the hope that is alive in our world. Our hope is that God makes beauty from our ashes. As a parent, I fall short, yet amazingly, I can behold so much beauty in the lives of my children every day. As a wife, I make mistakes, oftentimes over and over again. Yet the perseverance and love that is enduring in our home is stunning. In my friendships and with my family, I don't always have the right words, but I am grateful for the way the stories of our lives are being written together. As a Christ follower, I often fall short and lack wisdom, but God is still doing a good work in my life. Our hearts can be encouraged by the knowledge that uh, even though the headlines in our world And sometimes the headlining thoughts in our minds are filled with negativity, ugliness, and darkness. God is still alive and active in our world. His light is illuminating dark places, showing his ability to redeem his fallen creation. He has not given up on us. Genesis tells the story of how God formed our world. When he finished and finally breathed life into his creation, he paused to say, it is good. Genesis 131. This world began as something good, but soon sin and death entered the scene and began to cast a shadow on God's work. Since then, the story of the world has been God coming down to earth, doing all he can to rescue, redeem, illuminate his fallen creation. Beauty is being made of us despite our fallen nature. 
The book of Revelation tells us that one day God's beauty will forever be in our sights. We won't have to struggle under the shadow that evil casts on this world. The new heaven and new earth will be our eternal home with our God set securely on his throne of grace. Revelation 21. Our souls long for such peace filled day. For now, we are a part of his work to bring his kingdom down. His kingdom is a place of creativity, beauty, light, and vibrance. Let those that look for that beauty every day, fighting against the urge to fixate on the problems. May the Holy Spirit illuminate the beauty of God's creation for you. He is making everything beautiful in his perfect timing. He offers hope, peace, joy, healing, redemption, reconciliation, and comfort to his children, even in our profound brokenness. His grace is enough for us. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Intersecting faith and life. Pause and journal about the ways you have seen God's beauty around you. Write down ways God has brought healing even when you have failed. Recount how God has protected you when you face dangerous situations. Think of how God has taught you and grown your character during a difficult season. Note how God's creativity and beauty is on display in creation and in the people in your life. Perfection is not required for beauty to exist. Further reading, Ecclesiastes 3. Gunger, beautiful things. What does it mean that there will be beauty for ashes? The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Do you want to better understand the Bible and give biblical answers to those who ask you about your faith? Hi, this is Perseus Poku, host of the Sound Reasoning Podcast Show. Listen to us weekly as we bring the truth often found in the ivory towers of seminary down to the steeple towers of the local church. Join me along with many of the nation's top theologians as we offer answers to life tough questions from an apologetic perspective. Subscribe to the show at lifeaudio.com.